Hi. Today I'll be discussing with you how to actually uninstall and remove every application of Citrus Receiver from your computer. So if you're having a problem with Citrus Receiver and you cannot connect, you've tried every um, solution like resetting receiver, trying to do everything. Um, if, if you can check my previous video, I'll also show you on how to actually solve some Citrus problem. And if you think the problem is not being resolved and you try to actually uninstall Citrus receiver. So let me go to settings here. And on a settings, go to apps to uninstall the Citrix receiver. So here we're going to look for the Citrix. Here I have Citrix um, receiver. Okay, let me just, yep, yeah, I have Citrix receiver. So I have the option to uninstall it. Or you can as well go to, if I go to, under, let me just do apps, CPL. So we also have the option to actually uninstall it on the in programs and future from uh, the control panel. But I think if you are using the, I'm uh, not using Windows 7, you're using Windows 10, like the latest version of Windows 10. So you can as well just go to your apps and future and then click uninstall to uninstall the receiver. So click yes if you are being prompted to confirm the uninstallation. Are you sure you want to install the receiver? Click yes. So right now the Citrus receiver will be uninstalled from this computer. So let's just wait a little minute. So we can see the in the install the uninstallation of Citrus receiver has successfully completed. So if I go to control panel on our programs here, I just need to refresh and we can see the receiver has been totally uninstalled. But sometimes you may still have some Citrus folder which are actually left on the computer and also, for example, in the registry, you still have some Citrus um, applications which are left there. So what we need to do is, first of all, um, I wanted to go to my, open the file um, explorer and here I go to the C drive and go to that programs files and, and check if there is no Citrus receiver uh, folder. Here we can see there is no Citrus receiver. And if I go to folder, uh, programs on, um, program files again here, we can see there is no application of Citrus receiver. So, but what I can also do, I will need to also make sure that I go to my profile on the user's profile, and then you can just type slash app data, click OK. And on the local, here we see we still have a Citrus folder here, but probably the folder will not have a lot of. Um, info. So what I need to do is to make sure I just first of all delete this folder. The folder has been deleted. So let me try to get a confirmation when I try to delete a file. Display. Okay. So and then under the roaming, we can see we still have the um, Citrus, the ISA ICA client folder here. So what we need to do also, we still need to delete this folder as well. Because if you if you don't delete this folder, you try to reinstall Citrus. So the, um, the 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 previous some previous information may still be held, which may still give you problem when you try to open Citrus receiver. So what we need to do next is to go to the registry. Let me just go to my start menu and then tap the registry editor, and then try to open as administrator. Click yes, and here we will need to go to the local machine because citrus is actually installed on local machine and then go to click software and in software we are going to click under the wow 6432 node here and here you can see we still have the citrus map here so well there is not so much right now on this map so what we just need to do is to actually delete this as well so, but you can still decide to even just go and see if you can find any folder of Citrix or any info of Citrix. Click next and it's going to search the registry to see if there is any info of Citrix left on this computer. So after doing some search, well, I couldn't find any Citrix info in this folder. So what we need to do is just to close close this then what you actually need to do is to restart your computer and then install Citrix receiver again 
So that is how you actually uninstall Citrus and remove every Citrus remnant on your computer so that by reinstalling it, you don't have the same problem you have before you try to uninstall Citrus. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to give me a, um, a like and also try to comment and I will uh, reply to you as quick as possible if you have any other issue concerning Citrix. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. Goodbye.